right guys welcome back to another video and here we are at the gate and you'll see that when we go through here I've got the little latch here and the problem I'm having is with this screw right here on the catch side so let's go ahead and tighten that back in and I will show you uh, what it's doing so once we have it tightened in it's still a little bit loose and then now I'm just gonna go ahead and close this and you'll see what happens here all right, so after it closes, you can see the massive amount of movement in this, and you can always see how it's separated from the from the fence. And I push it back in here, and look at that big gap that we have there. So the screw is just all stripped out. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove these two screws here, and uh, we're going to plug those holes with some wooden dowels, and then we're going to re-thread those screws in there. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with that. Right, guys so there's those two holes you can see how this hole over here on the left is uh, way stripped out way more rotted than the one on the right and that's what we're gonna fix Keep going. Alright. Wow. Ooh, that's what I'm hitting. Interesting. Interesting. It looks like whoever made this fence. There is something metal in there, you guys. So we're gonna go to plan B here, okay? Okay, so this hole turned out really good. This one, if you look right in there, there's a screw. It's a piece of metal that's coming from however they built this fence. I don't know where it's coming from, but what we're going to do now is just focus on the little hole where the threads were. And we'll fill that one and we can plug this one with how deep that is so far. So that's what we're going to do. This one's just going to take a two step process to do that one. All right. All right, guys. So here's our little dowel that we're going to use for the small hole where that screw is in the way and we're just going to put this in here and get it in all the way and get a nice tight fit and then uh, we'll use that to, for the little hole and then we'll use a bigger dowel for the rest of it so let's go ahead and pull this back out here and we can see right there the discoloration that's on the dowel so that's where we're going to cut it at right there um, so that we can fit it in just that little tiny hole in the middle of our big hole so let's get going with that and uh, for that You'll see this is the drill that I used earlier, and it's uh, a flat, more like an end mill kind of. It has the tip on it so you can get it in the center of the hole, and then it doesn't drill a concave hole, it's just a flat hole, which is what we need for the dowels. So that's what I used for that. So now let's go ahead and uh, start cutting our little dowel here. Again, you can see where it was in the hole, so we're just going to use that as our line, and we're just get our dremel out here. and. Uh, We'll get cutting on this. And just so you are aware, I do have my safety glasses on. Okay. Look at it, it's almost there. That should be big enough. Yeah, look at that. To take right off. All right? So there we have our little piece. Let's go put this in the fence. All right, guys, back out at the fence. We're gonna take our Elmer's Carpenter's wood glue and we're gonna go ahead and coat this dowel with it and put it in that hole and then we're gonna tap it in uh, with another dowel. So let's get that all done. Alright 
right guys so there's the plug it looks really good um, so now all we got left to do is measure uh, the two holes so that we make the plugs with the bigger dowels to put in here so let's get started on that part of it all right guys here I got the calipers you can see here I'm gonna use the tail end of it um, if you're not aware of the tail end of a caliper you can use this to measure uh, depths just like this for a hole um, your end of your caliper will go flush with your material as your tail goes inside the hole and you'll get a reading on your other end of your caliper by the claw end um, that'll give you what your reading is um, so let's go ahead and do this one it looks like three five eight and now we're gonna go ahead and do the deeper one since the screw wasn't in the way we got to go farther in on this one so we'll measure this one with the tail of the caliper and I think that one is gonna be nine five seven um, and so now let's just go ahead and start cutting up the dowel and gluing it into the fence. Alright guys, here we are. The glue is dried. It's the next day. So let's go ahead and take our latch here and we are going to line this up and uh, make our marks where we want uh, our holes to be so we can drill our new pilot holes into the dowels we just put in. Um, and then after we do that, I'm actually going to put a coat of paint over them to protect them from the weather um, since this is a fence and it is outside. And then we'll go ahead and uh, get the new latch installed. So let's get uh, let's get all that done. Alright guys, the paint's all dry, um, so let's go ahead and put the latch back on, and as you'll see here, it's all nicely painted black. Um, it was painted the color of the fence before, and it did have some rust on it, so I went ahead and cleaned that up, and I'm actually kind of upset about it because I recorded all of that for you guys to show you, but my uh, GoPro got corrupted somehow and I lost everything that was on that uh, SD card that was in there and I had to actually reformat the SD card so I'm actually super annoyed about that so anyways I just took a wire wheel cleaned it all up primed it and painted it black um, so now let's just go ahead and install let's get the screws uh, tightened up and test this out and uh, see how much better it works
It's fucking tight, you guys. Whoa. Is my paint not dry? We had some wet paint somewhere. All right, guys. So, uh... You just saw my picture I threw up on the screen there of touching wet paint. If you're familiar with uh, Adam Savage's channel, Tested, um, I do have the demerit badge for touching wet paint. And there I just proved it that I, I touch wet paint. Um, so um, it looks like this latch is holding up pretty good. I'm obviously not uh, closing it as hard as I did before, but um, those screws were really tight and really hard to put in. Um, and so I have complete confidence it's holding. As a matter of fact, it's still holding to this day, and it's been a while since I made this to posting it, so um, there's a delay there. Um, but I do have a regular job, so I don't just do this full time. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed that and uh, learned something, and that you can replace your uh, stripped out screw threads uh, with some wooden dowels if uh, it's in wood. So just uh, wooden dowels and some glue, you're good to go. So go ahead, comment, click all the like, subscribe buttons, whatever you guys want to do, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.